next activity. All right. Yeah. So we're going to talk now about guess the topic mingle. It's a nice uh, way. Let me get my screen up. And this is a fun way of beginning a new topic where you don't give the students or your group that you're working with the name of the topic at first. Instead, you give them clues and have them work together to figure out what the topic is, all right? And we're going to do this, you can do it with different, in different ways. Um, the first main clue that I'm going to give you is I am an object. And each of you will receive a clue as a direct message in the chat. And since there's only five of us, we're not going to breakout rooms, we'll just stay in the main room together. You share your clues with each other and try to speculate and figure out what the object is. So why don't we pause the recording briefly? Recording, or do we just not want to record this at all? It's okay. No, I was just, I just hit record at the same time you were asking that. So now Heather has sent each of us a clue. Uh, she says this is, you're saying this is easier to do face to face because people then mingle and pair up and try to guess things. And there are more of them, obviously. Right. Okay. So who thinks they have a clue that is not vague and is helpful? <laughs> well, probably be nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say that it's kind of vague, but let's just keep it going. <laughs> yeah. So what's yours, so, Anya? Are we allowed to, to, to tell each other? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. <laughs> I am very versatile. Mm. Mine yeah. is I range in size. It's almost the same as like <laughs> versatile mm. range in size. Mine is I make a distinctive sound. Okay, that, that is unique-ish. Um, Not unique, but you know, like more I was going to guess a bird, no? But it's an object, it's not a living thing. Oh, is it? it's an object, okay. Uh, so ranges in size, versatile, and makes a sound. A, uh, a bed, a couch? A phone? A phone? <laughs> Those eyebrows, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> what about Irene and Yesen? What do you guys know? You know, mine is quite odd. I, I've been thinking for a little while. Um, <laughs> I was an invited guest, an uninvited guest in the White House in the USA. You know, <laughs> oh, that is the first thing that came to my mind is Donald Trump, actually. But I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uninvited guest in the White House. That is very specific mm. and also doesn't help for some reason. Yeah, I read no, for I use writing in structure words that is that is quite vague as the old would love to say it. I was thinking of maybe the pandemic there? or something, but okay, keep going. Irene. Irene? <laughs> Uninvited I, guest. I cause or oh, I'm sort of mayhem and death. Yeah, I was thinking of COVID, the pandemic. Uh, uh, COVID. Um, uh, uh, Trump and COVID. It's COVID. Is it COVID? Uh, yeah, is it COVID? No, no I mean, it, it doesn't not. range in well, size. It's not object. It's not versatile. It's not, yeah, COVID is not an object. Make Wait, I mean, what was your clue? Uh, source of mayhem and death. Source of mayhem and death. Yeah. Guns? Guns? I think it's guns, eh? Nope. No? Versatile, though? Oh, okay. What causes noise? A mob. A mob. That's not an object. Oh yeah, I <laughs> keep forgetting that it's an object. <laughs> I'm gonna feed you some more clues now, but you can keep talking while I do that, all right? Okay. But the uninvited into the White House and causes mayhem and death. It's an object that kills people? A co-conspirator yeah. and I caused a brawl at an important soccer can game. It, can it be the aeroplanes that... A co-conspirator... <laughs> But you wouldn't have a there, yeah. Caused a brawl at an important soccer game. She's getting very specific to the point that it's not even helpful anymore. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh my God. No, we're this getting closer. Cool. Come on, let's Here's keep going. Why a didn't you get a friend? And I caused a brawl. Did anybody else get a clue? 
Amazon's friends. You hmm? got what? Amazon's friends. I'm Amazon's friends. That's the answer? No, that's a clue. What was the clue? I don't know what Amazon's print is. Friend, Amazon's friend. friend. Amazon's friend. And then yeah. I've got people worry I'll be misused. Well, I mean, if it kills people, of course it could be misused. <laughs> May have Box. The internet? No. It's an object. I guess the internet uh, is not an object. A Coke Amazon's cool. friend? Is it like Alexa? Is it Alexa? It's not Alexa. I was That's thinking like people a cardboard box, but I don't understand what. Okay, Amazon's friend. I see. Am I close with Alexa? <laughs> mine, mine. No, not even. People, close. You need to be telling us when we are warmer. You know, uh, like when we are getting yeah, warm. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. What's uh, what's yours? Like it says that some people have fun with me. With that the uninvited guest. Uninvited guest. Is it like a it's bug? It's becoming more complicated, you know. <laughs> but it causes the sound. It doesn't listen, right? It it creates. Sound. Is it that thing that they play? That they that 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 horn that farfusa or something like that? Vuvuzela? Yeah, farfusa. Far, far, you know what I'm Vuvuzela. talking about? Vuvuzela. Vuvuzela. Yes. Yeah. Was it that? No, what does that have to do with Amazon's friend? I don't know. Or the White House. <laughs> well, I mean, there are two Amazons. Amazon the River. Sound. I think we were thinking Amazon.com, but it could be Amazon the River, but I, I don't think so. First, yeah, thank you, Alia, for taking notes for all of us. Versatile. <laughs> I'm going to put my thoughts together because it seems very weird. This object. Found, I didn't buy a guess in the White House, source of death and mayhem, Amazon's friend, misused. Some people have fun with me. What? I don't experience vertigo? So is it something that spins? I mean, most things don't experience vertigo. That's a very strange clue. <laughs> and, and it also brings a drone. To a standstill. A yes. drone. There drone. it is. You got a drone. it. Drone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mia. Very good, Mia. <laughs> well, that was pretty, like, <laughs> we had a lot of clues. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. Yeah. Oh, well, how do you if I were... An invited guest. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. The one that flew into the White House. Okay. And oh wow. Misused. Yes. Oh. Yeah. And they are used. They are used in the military. They're used. Mm -hmm. uh, that was why. That was the you know mayhem yeah. and death. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Being used in the Ukraine right now, for example. Um, mm -hmm. But they're also, you know, people use them for fun, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. fun with drones, and they're also used to transport medicine to far, you know, to remote areas. Mm -hmm. But drug dealers also use them to transport medicine. So I mean, it's right. you know, right. Makes sense. yeah. And I can I, see how useful this is in a language class. Yes, definitely. Or, yes. or in a class that has a lot of different um, terminologies that you need to learn, like an intro class in any, like biology, whatever. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's also important to, to pick an object, or it doesn't have to be an object. It could be a person. It could be a concept. Um, but to pick something that the students are familiar with. You don't want them guessing something that they have no idea about, right? Right, or they, so, know it's, um, they don't know it's this a word in English at all. For, um yeah no that doesn't <laughs> make much sense either yeah so i did when we did a case study when my students did a case study on drones this was the intro to it they didn't know what the case study was going to be about but you know i had them getting up standing up and mingling and figuring out what the case study was and they were like oh what are we going to exactly do with this case study? i mean this is super super interesting so it's a way to to get them interested i can also yeah. see this in, in two other ways like you said that this was a whole class project on this topic, but if different mm -hmm. groups are working on different topics, they can introduce their topic by giving the clues and letting the other students figure it out. And I was nice. also thinking that it would be nice if the whole class agree on an object and they develop the clues because that's another way of using their language. And then you, the teacher, have to guess <laughs> on your own. <laughs> yeah. That's I feel like I want to do that to Heather now because of what she's done to us. <laughs> 
Oh, well, you were really, you were all really good. I mean, I, I love your also, ideas. So yeah. go ahead, Irene. Sorry, I also think that, you know, when, when um, your classes uh, get very quiet and, and people are lost in whatever topic you're discussing, because perhaps it uses big words and, and stuff like that, this would be really cool to introduce that so that people feel at ease and 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 embrace whatever language that will follow even when they are big ones yeah i i this is great i have so many yeah. ways of using it now thank you <laughs> yeah it's fun yeah. <laughs> it does take a little bit more preparation though i mean yeah you have to, as a yeah. teacher you have to think up the clues in advance or or actually we can use maha's idea and have the students think up the clues in advance even better <laughs> Yeah. All right. Any other guys? Before we yeah, go ahead. What was the word again? Sorry. <laughs> Drones. Drones. Drone. Z R O N E or? Yes. Yeah. Am I hearing? But isn't drone like a sound? Of a no, but it's also a self-driving object. Like self-driving robot ob flying object. <laughs> okay. Because when it was. Yeah, because I thought it was the buzz or the sounds of like we're thinking of objects here, but now it makes more sense. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, so I think Amazon sometimes uses them to deliver or they're planning to do more of that. They're planning on it, yeah. I checked this morning and they're, yeah. planning, they're planning on trying it out this year in California. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's there why was a joke. There was a joke when uh, Obama was president where people said uh, Martin Luther King had a dream and uh, Obama had a drone. So it, 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 it <laughs> and and it, it it's one of the jokes that are carried on. Yeah. So yeah. Does mm -hmm. anybody else want to comment before we uh, close the recording? I think um, this works well with Pictionary. You guys know the game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it can be done, you know, through drawing, expressed through drawing, or yes. through acting. Or it can be done in several ways. Yeah, you can actually have the person receive the, the, the clue in text, but express it by acting or by drawing or yes. some other way. That could be cool too. Like add a maybe, level of <clears throat> Maybe the idea of flashcards would, would work very, very good in that, in that context. Having a flashcard representing a text and then the person can visualize it or uh, go beyond it in, in some way. The idea of having cards yeah. or small yeah. boxes in front of this. Yeah. I don't know if I'm, I'm imagining that correct or not, but uh, I think it would make, yeah, as you mentioned, Dr. Maha, the idea of ESL classes, the, 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 the second language class, the English yeah. second language class. Yeah. And also, when you said flashcards, you actually give me an idea. It's a way, if the students have already learned something, it's a way to recap everything they know about it by coming up with the clues. So everybody's saying everything they know about it. So we make a list of these are the 10 things we know. Yeah. And I feel like, Alia, we can make an infographic at the end because we were an infographic workshop yesterday. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we can do a lot of things out of this. And we can actually combine music with the clues, like the radio garden with the activity we did just now. Put them together. Oh, interesting idea. So for instance, if it was an object that was uh, is used a lot, let's say in Japan or used a lot in Egypt, whatever it may be, then we can put you know, Japanese music or Egyptian music in the background just to set the scene and the mood of you know, the country we're looking for and then uh, start with the clues and the guessing of the object. I like That's that multi-sensory experience. Yeah. Nice, me too. Okay, let's stop the recording because it's time. Yeah.